What's good people, it's K2 Creative here and today I've got a quick tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. I know I always say quick and it goes on for 7 minutes but I'm just going to try and keep it under 5. I'll do my best and basically it's one of these new options I've found out in CS6 and it's called Image Trace and I won't give away too much now but I'll wait until we get further into the tutorial and you'll see how useful it is. It's also up to you to play around in it. I've played around in CS6 today an awful lot and just finding out new stuff. I'm still progressing. I'm also going to do a lot of these tutorials of CS6 in different like parts. I'm going to do like one focusing on one and then the other focusing on something else. So stay subbed and like my videos. So we'll get straight into it. I've got this blind logo which is a skateboarding logo and you can see it varies in colours and it's also got a background on, there's no transparency going on there uh, we've, we've got just like a different selection of colours and we're just going to click on this image and come to image trace and this is basically going to turn it into black and white and just get the the main the main features just so you can see them so you can see it's just got rid of all the colours and all the little bits and just foc focused on the main image which is this here, the school and the outline of it which is good Okay, and once we've done this, you can see we've got this option here. Uh, this might be located somewhere else on your CS6 version, but this is on the upper tab here. And you can see we can go trace and result outline, where you can just get the outline of this. And outlines here, and whatever, whatever. So you can just go through all them options. And we're just going to leave it on trace and result. Also, it's worth noting, you've got the image trace options down here. You might have, You might want to do this before you've... Um, done the image tracing or after it it's up to you and you've also got all these tabs here which I haven't yet like, experimented with I'm soon to and you can also create your own presets just experimenting around with them and seeing what's good uh, so if you're stuck with that also use Google Google is your friend so we're just going to focus on this for now and as you can see it's just got like black and white we can also come into the expand now and expand it and what this does is gives it loads of anchor points and basically breaks up the image you can see we can move these different points move this down here but we can just leave it as it is now and this breaks up the image so we can get rid of the background and stuff which is good because it saves us a lot of time if you didn't know how to do this you'd be going around this for days with a pen tool getting all the points and shit so this is basically cutting down the image so we can just use the image itself and get rid of the background which we want to do so this is good we're going to grab the direct selection tool and we're going to get rid of the background you can see by just clicking on the white bits and just deleting it we can get rid of this we're also going to get rid of the skull in here I'm going to get rid of this bit here. Okay. Not to worry about the the bottom half. We're just going to grab this rubber and just erase all this. So we're just left with the top half, what we're going to focus on. Okay. So you can see, as we just click a box around there, we'll make a box, and drag it off the composition, you can see it gives it the total transparency look and just focuses on this now depending on what your settings are going to be with the image trace you might get a different result this might be in color uh, this might only be like the outlines of it it's just basically up to you to experiment around but this is just a cool new thing i found out it'll save you a lot of time and now you can just like save this and take it into photoshop and you don't have to worry about shit you've got rid of the background and stuff so this is a really fantastic new feature in adobe illustrator cs6 Please stay subscribed for some more tutorials and don't forget to hit the like button, favourite, tell your friends about me. Uh, I'm K2, thanks for watching.